Hi, we're Monte Carlo's Flying Circus, and we're looking at how much risk you need to set aside on a project. Um, so as a project manager, um, the two things I want to get out of the risk management process are, at a high level, how much risk pot do I need? I.e., if my project's £10 million, do I need £500,000 extra a million? Um, and there's a number of ways of doing that, one of which is the Monte Carlo analysis. Um, but the other thing that's really useful is, if you go down to more detailed level, um, what are the risks on the project? And I need to identify those so that I can try and do something about them so that they don't actually happen on my project. Um, the current process that has been pretty much what's happened on every project I've worked on is we hold a risk management workshop, everybody goes into a room, we all have a think about, oh, what are the risks that might come up on this project? And then we go, oh, I think that's a 10% chance of that one happening, and if it does happen, it might cost £10,000. And then we, we log all of those. Um, there's a number of challenges with this. Um, firstly, the accuracy of the data that we're actually putting into that. It, it's basically an educated guess. Um, there's consistency between the different groups. So if you put 10 groups of people into rooms and ask them all to come up with a risk register for the same project, they'd all come up with a different set of risks, different values. Issues aren't often considered. So we're really good at capturing the risks, but in terms of looking at when they materialize or happen, and um, we're not actually very good at, at capturing that and how that impacts on the overall costs and actually going back and actually looking at if this was the risk, how much did it actually cost in reality if it did happen? So the basic idea behind Monte Carlo is maybe known to you. You take that whole list of <coughs> risks that, uh, that Emery talked about, that your experts provide, and you say, a, okay, I know a range that each might fall into. You run a simulation multiple times and you get a, a range. And then you can say, you can, you can answer the, the question that the project manager wants to answer, which is how much contingency do I need to put away? You can tell them, well, 80% of the time you're going to, based on the data that we have, 80% of the time you're going to have less than whatever the number is, 2 million pounds. Now, we did, this is actually a slide shot from a previous um, from a previous hack. So we did that. We wanted to take it a little further in some of the directions that she was talking about. So applying it, applying historical data, uh, uh, categorizing things so that you could do more machine learning analysis on it, and looking at risks and issues. So our goal was to not just have the risk data, but also have issue data so that you could see at the beginning of my project, uh, this is what I think my risk is based on whatever your confidence level is. And then over time, the, some of those risks become issues. I can monitor that. I can continually monitor the, the risks that I'm having and then see, am I, am I keeping on track with respect to my target? And we have some demo for you. So for me, uh, oh. that's, sorry. The perf sorry. For me, this is the perfect example how for someone who has not really good knowledge on statistics and advanced technology, it's hard to uh, transform the data into information. So what we have collected is um, numbers that we have distributed by using a Power BI tool. Uh, the distribution is uh, being done per month and per categories. So. As he said, a project manager wants to know what his risk of running his project. And he push a bar in saying 80% of it, and he will, that will give him the figure. And you can see there is a drop there. The drop is caused because we are not having uh, data on this, onto this. Uh, yeah, so now Cindy is just uh, giving us a demo on how that. Yeah, this is an extension of what's done uh, on previous years. So previous year is only a combination, a, a total of uh, like 60,000 uh, components of the risk. 
here we break it down into um, like what categories are there, um, the section of the road. And then if there is a category you specifically want to see what the risk for that specific one. And then you can also adjust whether you want to have a contingency fund that's uh, at 80% or 70% or perhaps 90% even. So next steps, uh, we always want more data. So hopefully as soon as Martin gets the, um, the trust together, we're gonna have all the data we want. Long term, we'd like to see this uh, in an application. We'd like to be able to step people through the whole process, et cetera, et cetera, read that. <laughs> <laughs>